good morning so uh yesterday um i left off having just started working on um importing snippets and ended up with a bit of a crash when i first tried starting so let's um let's get back to that and see what's going on so i ran out of time as usual So what we're doing is um, on the front end, uh, we've just added a, a new button um, for importing snippets, uh, which is calling this backend code, which interests just, I mean, why is it doing this still? Use of the internal package is not allowed. Why? I wonder if that's the issue. Uh, okay. Okay. It might not be properly set up in my um, Go mod. That might be part of the issue. Uh, let's check. So where are we? I've got so many things open here. Let's get rid of that. Don't need that open. I can stay. Okay. So go mod. Right. Okay. This is probably the issue here. Let's look um, at the CLI, double check how that's doing it. Yeah, it's just doing unpublished. Why is that? Ah, I've got replaces in as well. Do I not have that in? Ah, okay. All right. That's why. I'll do that. That could be the reason why we were having all the issues yesterday, but maybe not. We will see. Okay. So we now have, we're ex requiring the internal package called export, which also includes import code, because um, it's dealing with exports. Um, and we want version unpublished, and we are saying that that lives locally at internal export. Okay, so let's try that. Let's close some of these songs off. Don't need all these. Okay, so that's understood now. Right. Let's give it another go then. So the daemon's up and running. Let's start Wales Dev and see where we are. All 
Okay, so we now have an import button. And the theory is when I click this, we're going to get a file dialog, but we'll see. Nope. Okay. So it's that that's looks like that's what's crashing. So we best find out what's going on. I possibly haven't configured it correctly. We will see. Let's look at this. So app 103. And then it's calling into the dialog stuff. Okay. Yeah. Let's look at the docs for open dialog options there. Because I may need to set a couple of options. At the moment, I'm just doing an empty one. No. One time. Dialog. Hmm. That could be an issue. Okay, let's try that then. Let's add one of those just to be sure. Because there's nothing else. Well, I suppose default directory and default net file name could be an issue. And I haven't set a title either. Okay, maybe I should just set all these things. And uh, see if that makes any difference before diving into the code even further. So, okay. I have our options there. Um, and what we'll do is we'll just fill in all the blanks. So we have default directory. Oh, what format do I use for that? Hmm. See, I don't think 
All right, let's just do the bare minimum around here. So let's do um, filters equals uh, what's the thingy? Okay, doesn't say. It's probably runtime. But we'll look. Try. Um, runtime file filter. Display name. Snippet pixie. Export star JSON and then pattern and that will just be star dot. Jason. That's me. That's filters. Ah. Okay, probably easiest then. Actually, if I just do Yeah. Our filter and then let's just make a single one and then we'll just append it. This is probably totally inefficient but it should do the job. I'm sure I could do it all in one go, but uh, uh, right. So then we have filters. We're setting it there. Okay, so that's the bare minimum, I think. But I'm gonna add a title just in case. Select export file or import G 
information I'd need to put file name. And I would expect Sheridan files as the same default as well, hopefully. Okay, let's try this. I'll just double check. So we should be good there. I've just got the one file format. Let's try again. It could well be an issue with running Wales dev as well. So I might try just building it and seeing what happens as well. Yeah. It's not telling me where the crash is. It's not saying this thread died. Well, I'm not seeing it anyway. Hmm. Yeah, that's because I don't have a full GNOME setup. A lot of it's just because I'm using i3. Could be a bit of an issue. Hmm. Okay, let's have a quick. Make sure that's not broken. It's okay. This could be one of those occasions where I have to go deep dive in. Yeah, same problem. Hmm, okay. Right, I'm going to do a quick test of something else first. And then... Um, okay. I do have this. Right. Quick and dirty fix just to see what's going on here. I am going to... Take that out. Perfect. 
put the file name in. Why is that complaining? Yeah, yeah, I know. That's fine. Don't care. Right, I just want to see if it works doing the import. So in theory, we're going to read in that file that I exported the other day. Um, uh, it's going to do a check of it. Then we hopefully will get a message dialog if it's empty. I'm not going to have an empty one at the moment. That would be interesting to see whether I've broken things on my last update. That might be an issue. Then it will go do it. And hopefully we'll get a dialogue. Okay. Okay, so this is just a report. There we go, created 91. But I haven't got any hooks to say about go refresh now. If I reload this, there they are. Okay. Right. So, import works. It's just the uh, file dialog that's an issue. We need to get past that. Um, if I run that again, actually, just thinking, oh, it's not going to have uh, the button because I haven't got it anywhere else yet. Okay, let's uh, cut that off. Remove that database. Let's just make sure that's clean. It's fine. Um, yeah, what was I going to test there? Oh, yeah. On the welcome screen, do the import. And then I think either way, we basically need to do snippets fetch just to be sure Okay, good stuff. Right. Now, all we've got to do is work out 
how to fix the dialogue. Just, you know, the little important bit. Feels like there's a problem with. Working with GNOME. Energy settings. So. Hmm. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here because I haven't got a full on debug set up here because it's a bit of a Franken project I've got. can I do? I could, I suppose, have a quick go on Ubuntu with GNOME and see how that goes. Uh, It's the easiest way. Right. Well, we got an almost working system here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new branch. Commit that. And then I'll just put it down into a VM as such. Um, I'm not going to just call it Now let's get VM up and running. I have to use um, Spice Display. Let's just uh, resize that and line this. Hopefully, I'm not covering anything there. Okay. Should 
should really uh, hook hook in the um post um, Can't I up this morning? Right. Okay, so let's just do a pitch. Let's do a pull here, even though we're not going to use it. Um Yeah, and then we'll just do a get checkout, and uh, what do they call it? GUI import snippets. Uh, get switch. GUI. Didn't even read, read that right. Okay, right. So a couple of things I need to do. Do make clean all the make. Some updates. Okay. Uh, should I just do a make test just to make sure? Okay. Uh, right. I'm just going to run this in the moment and see what we get. One here as well. Come on, some pixie gooey. More compiling. I'm running out of coffee. All right, okay. Let's delete that. So now we've got our import. So let's see what happens here. Yay, okay, right. <clears throat> so, so it is my system that's got the issue. Hmm. So if I cancel that, no problems. Okay. Uh, I need to get, um, now I don't know how I can do that, can I, can I just drag and drop stuff in here, I wonder. Uh, 
let's just um, so let's make this a little bit bigger. Got the room. And we will. Where was it? Downloads. Can I drag and drop into Quick EM? Yes, we can. That's neat. So is that is that actual downloads? Oh, right, okay. Smart. Okay. So let's see if we can import that then from downloads. Neat. Okay, so it works. I can go in there, no problem. Okay. Right then. So it's my system that needs to be fixed up. So that's something I'm going to have to work on. I don't know how <laughs> just yet that's going to be lots of fiddling and I probably can't record while I'm doing that because I'll be bouncing the machine and things while I'm sorting out the gnome setup um, but looks like it works so that's good uh, should I do a little test of um Yeah, let's do a quick test of picking up um, an empty file. So let's just reduce the. Can I? Why did that not go down? Okay, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that database bring back the daemon and I'm going to quickly go into downloads. I'm going to touch a empty dot JSON. And then I'm going to also do echo ripple wobble into JSON. So that one, it might, I can't remember if I put in the code to say that file's empty, what you're on about. And then the other one, we will pick it up. Um, but then say there's nothing in it that we can use in theory. So can't remember if I put in those two dialogues though. I don't think I did. One of them isn't there. All right, import downloads empty. File does not contain valid JSON formatted data. Okay. That's a good point actually. And then the other one. Oh, it's okay. Okay, you're right. That's a very good point. Uh, it's not going to be there, is it? 
Hopefully I've got VM on here. I can't remember if I put it on. Yeah, so let's do that. So it will be, let's just do an empty object. And this one will be, um, basically yeah see that's the normal format starts off as an object and all this stuff here hmm. maybe I should do that as well So we are, that's the last of them. Okay, so empty snippets there. Right. I basically want it to recognize it as JSON. Uh, so that it goes a little bit further and then goes nope so it's picking up from local right right empty nothing to import perfect downloads Nada, nothing. Download rubbish. Nothing to import. And snippets. Created 91. Great. Okay. Right, well. That shows that basically it's working, but uh, for me to be done with it, I need to sort out why why it won't work on my system, which is going to be fun. So, bye bye, quick MU. Thank you very much. You did a good job there. Uh, well, I haven't got time to start fiddling with um, this stuff here. Um, and as I said before, it's going to be a bit fiddly anyway. It's going to be looking up some. Things I might have to fake some gnome schema settings and stuff. So anyway, so that's something for another day. Um, but at least we know it does work when you have a desktop environment rather than just a window manager like I have because mine's a bit bare bones um but yeah okay well until next time then um thanks for watching uh, and take care